Oh, talk. You can spend less than $5 on synthetic foam pillows. Well, premium downfilled can set you back more than $150 a piece. Well, before you go to bed tonight, Two News is working for you to find out when it's time to trade in your old bed pillows for new. Right now, we should be talking about blankets and lots of them. It's nice and flimsy and flopsy. Delaney Yelnell loves her pillow. Kind of like Linus in his blankie. They've been together a long time. I think I picked it up at a thrift store and it's just, I've had it two or four years and it's just, it's so comfy. She says she won't let it go. Until it disintegrates. That may be waiting too long. To get a good night's rest, sleep specialists recommend pillows that support your head and neck. As a pillow ages, it can break down, giving you less support, or load up with bacteria, mold, and dust mites that could make you sick. The dust mites leave behind a microscopic trail of allergens, and people can have severe allergies to dust mite, enough to cause asthma. To see what might be lurking in her pillow, we had Delaney swab it. Then we sent the sample to TU's microbiology lab. Check out what popped up on the Petri dish. Actually, it was loaded uh, with bacteria. That's not so good. Most of it was staphylococci. That's the one most of us have on our skin, not the kind that makes us sick. There's also some gut bacteria from drooling a bit during sleep. It's stuff all of us likely have a little of on our pillows. And that caught people off guard when we gave them a peek at the Petri dishes. Look at this. Oh, gross. That's on your pillow. That's disgusting. Biology professor Estelle Levington says that our pillows may be coated in microbes because as we sleep, we sweat and shed skin cells, a feast for bacteria, mold, and mites. To extend your pillow's life, make it less comfortable for those microscopic critters. So the best way to limit dust mites is to have very low humidity. Low humidity also limits mold growth. Very low humidity is about 30 to 40 percent indoors. Any higher and microbes can multiply fast. Now, if you don't like dry air, zip a medical grade cotton casing over your pillow. It traps in what's already there and keeps out anything new. You can find them online and at specialty stores. A cheaper, more effective way to get rid of the microbes, machine wash and dry your pillowcases at least every two weeks and do the same with your pillows if they're washing machine safe. But I just toss it in the dryer, you know, to keep it, you know, um, sanitized. Heat from the dryer may kill some stuff, but our test shows it doesn't sanitize Delaney's pillow. It's not. It felt warm. It made it feel fresh. So even if you keep it clean, when does your pillow need replacing? For synthetics, when the filling gets lumpy, hard, flat, or holds an imprint of your head. Now it also needs replacing if it fails this very simple test. You just take your pillow, fold it in half, and if it doesn't spring right back into shape, it needs it's, change. It's time to toss wow, it. Wow, I Definitely. way overdo that. Mine's <laughs> flat, but I like it that way. That's right. Now we did put some more information on cagerh.com for you about the pillows too. All right. Well, you need the blanket, of course, yes. and maybe a couple of pillows, or the cats will be trying to snuggle up against the pillows tonight. <laughs> in the next couple of nights, it is getting cold.